Hey friends, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got these cute, small, boho, knotless braids. If you're interested in learning how to do your own braids, stay tuned for this video. So of course the first thing I did was go in and shampoo my hair. I had previously had a sew-in in for a while, so I just wanted to make sure that I had my scalp cleansed really well before I go in with these braids. I don't know about y'all but I really enjoy washing my hair it is something about like a fresh scalp it just feels so good and afterwards I just I don't know I feel so free so fresh I love washing my hair wash day is my favorite day and I be moving through it it don't take me a long time I be getting through it because I work in four sections and yeah it's my favorite If you're returning to my channel, then you know that I swear by this handy dandy three-tier mirror. You guys, I got this mirror for about $20 from Amazon. And I'm telling you, this is not a sponsored video, but I do recommend that you go get this um, mirror. It's a lifesaver. And if you want clean parts and to save almost 50% of your time, go ahead and get you a three-tier mirror. In order for me to stay organized as I'm parting my hair, I do go in and braid the parts across just to keep everything separated. And it also saves me time, in my opinion. If you would like to go ahead and just free braid your hair, you can do that as well. But I love to section my hair so I can see what I'm doing and how much more I have to go. Also, in my opinion, pre-parting your hair keeps you from over braiding because if you don't pre-part your hair, girl, them rows will start adding up. And before you know it, you would have done like 50 rows. And that's just not my thing. I wanted my hair to be extra full because I was doing smaller braids. So it looks like I did three braids. I'm sorry, three rows on below my ear and above my ear. I did about nine rows. Now, this did take me a while to do, y'all. So just be prepared, okay? So at this point, it does look like I'm about halfway done with my hair. And these braids are looking gorgeous. I promise. This is the only thing that kept me going, you guys. Being able to see my progress in between. Because my arms get tired. Like, I don't know about y'all. I know y'all arms get tired. You can't even say they don't. Like, this style, this service is tedious. And yeah i'm just grateful i got it done but anyways i go in with shining gems to part my hair and then i go in to slick my hair down with a thicker jam that i don't know the name of right now but i will be leaving all of the products i use in the comments just so you guys know exactly what i'm using and yes separate my curly pieces what I do I place shine and jam on the tip of the hair and I separate the hair into smaller pieces so that I can get a few into each braid so now that I'm ready to braid I do go ahead and split my hair into three pieces and I braid just as if I'm going to cornrow to my head Thank you. 
I'm pretty sure I've tried to explain knotless braiding to you guys in a video previously. You could always go back and watch that if you need more tips. But here, I'm just kind of here to show you what I did. More so seeing wise, you can see what I did. So I'm going in with a piece of braiding hair and I add in the first leg. I braid down twice and then I add in the second leg. So that did go by pretty quickly, but I'm gonna get ready to add in another piece and I'm sticking the hair between my pointer finger and my thumb. I braid down twice with that first leg and then I go ahead and add in that second leg. Now I am moving pretty fast here, but I do have another clip that is coming up shortly. And I'm going to try to slow that down for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm doing. In this clip, you girls are going to see me braid in a different angle. So I'm still doing that same method. I'm braiding down twice and then I'm adding in a piece of braiding hair. So I'm not adding in the entire piece of braiding hair here, but I'm adding in one leg. I braid down once, braid down again, and then I'm going to add in that second leg and braid down twice. So it's literally repetitive. And once you get the hang of it, girl, I promise you are good. You know how to do any style at this point. It doesn't get any easier at explaining than this. For this style, I did use 100% human hair from Amazon. Y'all, I completely fell in love with this hair. I will link this below as well. So I did add about maybe three to four pieces of curly hair to each braid just because I wanted this look to be really curly. I was going on vacation and yeah i wanted that curly boho look and when i tell you guys this hair lasted so much better i'm normally like a synthetic girly like i can get away with it i'll clip some pieces out but no this human hair it it just took over the show i will never use no i'm not gonna say never i will not intentionally use um synthetic hair again it'll always be human hair i love human hair
being that this is human hair, I did not pick apart any pieces. I just went directly in to dip my hair. I boiled my water and I did my hair as usual. You guys, this isn't, isn't anything that I really need to teach, but you can watch me do this. And after this, the style is complete. When I tell y'all I love this style, I really, like, I seen something on Instagram and it was like, if you could have one style for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would probably be this style for me. Cause Girl, this style is definitely tea. And it's going down as one of the best in my books for summer 2024. Summer ain't even really started yet, but this style has ate it up, like, it had me looking good on my trip like i fell in the ocean i went swimming everything like this is just top notch and yeah i'm coming back to to um spin a block on these braids so yes i hope you girls give this style a try and as always if you do make sure you um let me know in the comments or reach out to me on instagram and i will be sure to get back with you guys i want to see your pictures i want to hear about your experience so make sure you let me know I appreciate you all for watching this video and if you're new here please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join our family and see what's to come for this summer. I have so many braided styles that I want to try out with you girls and I'm just so excited to be back on YouTube fully and back in action with some passion you guys. So make sure you subscribe, like and comment on this video so I can bring you guys more. And I thank you all for watching. I'll see my baby soon.